only in recent years have I become like more aware of like the things that I'm buying, where my money's going, who it's going to, and kind of making the connections between things that I I value in, in, in the world beyond the world of like shopping and, and beauty and things like that. Emily Tamfo is a well-known fashion and lifestyle columnist in the GTA. Tanfo has made an effort to support local black businesses after learning where her money was actually going a few years ago. And now she's starting to see more people hop on that bandwagon. I would say that culturally, by last summer generally, there was a really big shift. And you saw all these companies making very public promises that we're going to do better, we're going to have better representation, better diversity, uh, and kind of acknowledging that George Floyd is like a turning point in uh, how they represent Black beauty and, and imagery through their company. And there was a moment there where everyone was really galvanized to buy from Black-owned businesses. And so for me, I was really, I was really uh, overwhelmed and excited by the possibility. But I will say that since then, there's definitely been uh, another shift back. And it's it's kind of the same energy that we're that we see every year during Black History Month. Like there's this this huge uprising of like buy black owned, support black businesses. These are some black creators that you should know. But then it kind of fades. Tanfo says it is instrumental that people keep their motivation high when it comes to supporting black businesses. I think there's so many advantages to shopping black owned. I think you can look at shopping black owned businesses in the same way that we we talk about shopping from local businesses. With shopping black owned, we also have the opportunity opportunity of closing the racial wealth gap. And I think I think people don't realize how much their participation in that is meaningful. Emily Tamfo has a blog page with more of her thoughts on black businesses and why you should support them. And you can find a link on our website at citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.